Hey guys and welcome back to The New Trackers. Today I'm going to be doing our very first Price Wars. <laughs> and this is one for the girls because I am going to be doing foundation. Boys, you can wear foundation too but this is more aimed at our girls. So I'll start off with a really cheap one and show you how it is, how much it was, where I got it from and then I'll work my way up. I've got three to do. I've got really cheap, cheap and middle range. I haven't got high prices yet because I can't afford high prices at the moment. So first of all we've got, they're all in porcelain because I am the pale of the pale. So first of all we have the collection Naturally Matte in number one porcelain. It says all day fresh matte finish foundation. Now I haven't used this in a while but this is like a backup foundation if I do ever run out. So you see I've used it a couple of times. Rub it on my hand. That's way too much. You see it on there it's like I don't need half of that. Where can I put this to? Let's just chuck that on there and see it on my hand and then rub it in and it's really really watery. Can you see it? You can't really see it but it is very watery. You need to put a lot a lot on for it to cover your face. It doesn't it's not very good coverage. It doesn't stay on for long. It's patchy. It's not the best foundation I've used and it's got like a foundation smell to it. You, you know what I mean by foundation smell. Smell from spell. But yeah, it just blends in with your skin. If you if you like it where it just blends in and it looks really, really natural, like your skin, then yeah, but I like it to like just make my skin even and not what it is. <laughs> so yeah, that was collection natural matte in porcelain. And then next up we have this. It's George Ultra Ultra Sheer Foundation in Porcelain. Light, reflecting and moisturising contains vitamin E. Now this one, this one isn't too bad, it's more, it is more of a liquid, it, with that one's more, the other one's more of a mousse. You rub it in and I put way too much on again. And this one you can see more. See, this is really awkward to show you guys. I can kind of see it more but this one's got a really chemical smell it's chemical yeah chemical smell to it but when I use this one I put about four four coats on so it does make my skin look even and like a nice shade but yeah it's not it doesn't last very long you've got to top it up throughout the day it just it goes it cracks like this one it just it just cracks so they're not the best but I forgot to say the prices this one was three pound from Asda this one is Asda's own brand and this was a fiver and then the last one is by B and uh, Trade Secrets what's the front sorry um, Vital Skin Longwear and this one was $9.99 from Tesco. But this one, where can I put it to show you? I'll put it on the other side of my hand. Only a teeny tiny squirt. Rub it in. Can you, see, you can see where it stops. It stops there and it's up there. This one, you don't need much. Like, a, l a little bit goes a long way with this one you don't need I've only got one layer on now and it's I've put this on at eight o'clock in the morning it is now nearly eight o'clock at night and it's lasted yeah it's lasted obviously it's, it's cracked in places which you do expect with foundation you can't stay on all day nothing is 24 hours so this was 9.99 and the smell it smells fruity. It's not, it does smell really nice. It doesn't have a chemical or a foundation smell. It smells really nice. Yeah, and it lasts long. You don't need loads with it. I definitely recommend this. Like, if you're thinking of, if you want a new foundation, 
and this one matches my skin tone much better these two they're orange but this one you can see the difference in it in it and you notice it when i put it on i don't look as fake as fake <laughs> i don't look as fake when putting it on but obviously when you're wearing foundation it is fake you you can't expect to look 100 percent natural so this one I definitely recommend. It says a luxury long wear cream foundation. It's 30 millilitres. Now 9.99 for 30 millilitres is ridiculous. In my books anyway. I don't have loads of money to, to splash on foundation. But this will last me this will last me a while. A good a good couple of months. Where this one I was using I was using loads because it just wasn't it was liquid and it wasn't liquid it was water it was like I was putting water on my face this one four squirts a day and four squirts and I was topping my makeup up so I covered my face properly this one one squirt lasted me 12 hours so I definitely recommend this one but all skin types are different so this is for some with dry skin I don't have really oil skin I've got really dry skin so I moisturize and before I put my foundation on, I use Baby Skin Primer. And if your foundation doesn't stay on properly, I definitely recommend to use this. This is a Touch of Rose, but you can get um, just the clear one as well. But I like the Touch of Rose. It's like a nice pinky. Can you see? A nice pinky colour. And it's... Oh, it's got a strong smell, but when you put it on your face, you can't really smell it. No one comes up and smells your face before you put your makeup on. So yeah, I definitely recommend using baby skin with primer and things like that because it does keep your foundation on for longer and it makes your skin feel really nice. It's really soft and not many spots, which at my age is a great thing because I'm prone to, prone to spots at the moment. So yeah, price for all. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope it helps you a lot. And I hope I save you money in the long run. So thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and share. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.